The black and gold micro straggle dabbler is one of Rob Denson's favourite patterns, catching him trout in every month of the season. First, run the tying thread on just behind the eye, locking the loose end in place with a few turns before trimming it off with the scissors. Then carry the thread down the shank in close turns. Keep going until it reaches just past the point. The tail comprises a few fibres of black cock hackle, or as in this case, bronze mallard. Offer the fibres up to the hook, judge them for length, and then catch them in with a couple of turns of thread. Next, take a length of silver wire and catch it in place at the base of the tail. Lock it in place with a couple of turns of thread and then draw the end through. The body consists of a length of black and gold micro straggle, or if you can get it, black and gold UV micro straggle. Take the straggle fritz and catch it in at the base of the tail with two or three turns of thread. Then carry the thread down the shank over the waist ends of the bronze mallard and silver wire until it reaches a position just short of the eye. Next, take the scissors and just trim off the waist ends of the bronze mallard. Add a few more turns of thread. Next, take hold of the straggle fritz and apply a turn at the base of the tail. Then stroke the fibers back, apply a second turn right in front of it, stroke the fibers back again then keep applying close turns of, of the fritz, working your way towards the eye, making sure that plenty of those fibers stick out to catch the light. Carry on until the, the fritz reaches a short distance from the eye and then secure the loose end with thread. Then take the scissors and just trim off that loose end. Straight the fibers back and just apply a couple of more turns of thread. A black hen hackle is used for the body hackle. So prepare it by stripping away the waste fibers from the base of the hackle to leave a short section of stem. Having prepared the hackle, offer it up to the hook and catch it in just in front of the body with a few turns of thread. Then grab the tip using a pair of hackle pliers and apply a single turn just in front of the body. Then carry on winding the hackle over the body in evenly spaced turns, working towards the tail, making sure that not too many of those fibers get trapped. When the hackle has almost reached the tail, take hold of the silver wire and carefully lock the tip in place. Then carry the wire up through the hackle, wiggling it a little bit from side to side just so it doesn't trap any of the fibers, carrying it on up until it reaches the front of the hackle. At that point, draw the fibers back, take the tying thread and just secure the loose end of the wire with a couple of turns. Then take hold of the wire and just snap off that loose end. Draw the fibers back and just apply a couple of more turns of thread. Then take the scissors, carefully remove the hackle tip, and then do the same to the waist end of stalk at the eye. Fibers of bronze mallard are used to cloak the body and hackle of this pattern, giving it its dabbler style profile. From the feather, cut a generous strip and then divide it into two equal slips. Offer the first bunch of the bronze mallard up to the underside of the hook and just uh, secure it with a couple of loose turns of thread. Just uh, work it underneath the bend so that it uh, forms the lower part of the wing. Then take the second slip, offer it up to the top of the hook, wrap it around the sides and again just hold it in place with a couple of loose turns of thread and then use your fingers to work it around the sides of the body. Then, when you're happy with the position, add a few more turns of thread just to lock it in place. Then draw it back and apply a couple of turns right next to the eye. 
then take the scissors and just trim off all those waste ends of the bronze mallard. And then add just a few more turns to secure. Now take a small jungle cock feather and split it in half so that it makes two cheeks. So take the first half and offer it up to the near side of the fly, position with a couple of thread turns, then take the remaining half and position it directly on the other side of the hook. Again, two or three turns of thread to secure, then draw the, the ends back and add a couple of turns of thread to secure them in place. Then take the scissors and just trim them off. Add a few more thread wraps to secure them in place, then build a neat head. And finally, cast the thread off with a three or four turn whip finish. Draw it tight, then take the scissors and trim off the loose end. Finally, take a little drop of clear varnish and apply it to the head. And that's it complete. Rob Denson's black and gold micro straggle dabbler.